Hello everybody, bit of a channel update today. Gonna talk about what things I've got coming up, uh, what builds I've got going on, what projects. But first of all, I just wanna take a minute to thank each and every one of you who watches the videos, likes, comments, subscribes, really appreciate it. And to the channel members, you don't know how much that means to me. So this is a really big thank you to you. Thank you, Oki. Thank you, Barry Kennedy. And thank you, GTST Dan. He's one of the drift dicks from Ireland. Thank you very much, guys. Right, let's have a look. Right, this is the workbench. Um, and what I do at the minute is I keep each one of my projects on a pit mat so I can see what's going on with it. And I try and leave a sticky note for each one so I know where I'm at with it. So we've got a few things going on here. That one, that one's a bit of a secret project. So we're not gonna go through that one today, but that will be on the channel soon, hopefully. First of all, I've got a new shell here. Freshly painted, nothing special. Uh, it's just a R32 GTR in black, nice and clean. But I got a care package off Slide Customs to show how easy this is to do yourself. Because we all know that Keith makes incredible bodies. But did you know that he sells all of the accessories separately? So this is my way of saying thank you to Keith. So I bought a nice shell, painted it simply to show off the accessories. Um, I'm going for like a 90s retro uh, Cusco blue. Remember the old Cusco cages? So yeah, we've got cage to fit, intercooler, mirrors, ganadors, interior mirror, oil cooler. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put the oil cooler yet. That one's still racking my brain. Obviously it needs to go at the front, but I'm just not sure if to put it on or put it in front. Of... Do you put it in front of this and then block out the HKS? Hmm, let me know what you think on that one. So yeah, got a couple of bits here just waiting to dry. I've just been painting them. Um, I did speak to Keith when I started this project and I said like what do you use to paint and uh, he uses fairly special paint but I was interested to know if they just take Core RC paint and I'm quite happy with this it's got quite like a almost a metallic-y look to it perfect for what I'm after so that's one right RDX really need to start looking at getting this on silver dots ready for round three other than that i'm going to check it on the corner weight to make sure it's all still fairly level and balanced but other than that this really other than a good clean doesn't really need anything it's been running really well since i had the new gearbox um but yeah this one's good yeah that, happy with that one Right, this one, you've all seen this police car. This is my MC1. And, well, at the minute, it's still a Karagashi. From, um, from a little while back when uh, we all started building them. It went so well, I'm tempted to put it back to stock. Not stock, but take the Karagashi stuff off. Take the roll center stuff off. And, um, see how it goes just as a normal car not quite low center of gravity but without the body roll stuff so that one there is a new body coming for this because uh police cars a little bit a little bit dead do you know what i mean it's been it's had a few door marks um i do love it it just deserves a better body next so yeah there's that now, Rhino Max. Hmm. I am not sure what to do with this at all. I love it. I don't want to get rid of it. I want to do something with it, but. Hmm. Suggestions in the comments. Maybe a scale build car. Maybe get some help 3D printing an engine bay, a dash. That would look cool. I would be well up for that. Um, what, well, right, what we got here? This is another RDX I've bought, completely stock, hmm. minus a gearbox that needs rebuilding because uh, it's in there. But yeah, another RDX and 
planning on doing like a budget electronics with it. But RD2 may have changed my plans. I've got plans to get an RD2 and I think I'm figuring out how I'm going to do it. And I'd be very tempted to try the same electronics in both the RD2 and this, both of them stock, and see how they get on. Hmm, what do you think, guys? Obviously, the MC1 needs a new body. Now, I've got a couple of bodies here. I'm not going to tell you what this one is. You might be able to see it, but if you can, keep it to yourself. This one, I've wanted to do this for a while. B22. 22B? Might be a 22B Subaru. Sorry, Subaru fans. Not the best knowledge on that. But, last of the classic. That's what I call them. Uh, so, yeah, I've got that. I'm excited to do that. That might have to go on there. If not, I've got a couple of things in the works. Maybe a commissioned body here or there. So, we shall see. But, yeah, other than that, that's all I've got going on project-wise at the minute. So yeah, that's all the builds that are going on, all the little projects. I um, have been fairly busy working on the new track. Uh, obviously, some of you might know Slide House, we've moved again. Um, that will become very apparent in the next few weeks. Our opening day is on the 27th. Say no more. Uh, got round three coming up uh, at the start of next month and then I'd like to go and visit some other tracks, some of the smaller tracks this year maybe, some of the some of the guys that don't get the limelight that they deserve. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys. See you all trackside soon.